Hello gamers, it's me, Bill Cavalier, the Dungeon Bastard, and welcome to Saving Throw Show's Friday Night Dungeons and Dragons! Yay. Wow, I'm really loud, aren't I? That's right, it's what I do. Hey, we have an assortment of guests with us tonight. Let's go around on the table and introduce our various players. Starting on my left, it's Virva! Hi! <laughs> Virva just took a big bite of something! Yay! Virva oh. loves talking with food in her mouth. I feel like I should put something in my mouth. Also, every time you say Virva's name, she laughs. Virva! So <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Virva! It doesn't work if you do it in the chat, because she can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Tyler will read it out. Right? <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Next up, uh, Mr. Ben Dunn. Hi, how are you? Mm. How's it going? <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have a choking that a, incident. That was a really oh, bad oh, idea. Yes. No. That was a lot of sour neck patch kids. Is it yeah. gonna play neck throat? I'm so excited for the choking incident. Speaking oh, of wow. neck throat, <laughs> to my right and three seat seats down, <laughs> Mr. Sean Graham! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, official Gross. fetish master of the yeah. table. Butsy. I'm the fetish docent. <laughs> wow. I'd... It means you don't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a passion of mine. <laughs> Very good. Right. Next up, Tracy King Hi, is here. Hi, everybody. You may know her from um, such projects as... To Call Say the Squad, Sparkle Sparkle number one. Yes! Also, Project <laughs> Runway. She, she and know. Project Run... Run? <laughs> <laughs> She's part <laughs> werewolf. I'm part werewolf. And Project Ground Zero. And that too. Project Greenlight? Project Greenlight. Project also, the Greenlight yep. too. Uh, the Manhattan <laughs> Project. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A lot of projects you've been working on. Yes. And finally, directly to my right, it is the king himself, Mr. Chris Greenwood. Yay! That's me in the beard. How is the trucking going? <laughs> Keeps on rolling. Keeps on, keep, yep. keep on trucking. Yeah. For all of, all of you who enjoy jokes from the 70s, <laughs> you will not be disappointed tonight. Hey everybody, I'm Bill Cavalier, the Dungeon Bastard, and we're here to run some D&D &D 5. Are you ready? Doesn't matter, we're doing it anyway. Yes. Uh, you just guys start guys off can the top it. of the show, uh, we have, uh, I don't think we have too much to announce except for a big thank you to everyone who joined us last Saturday for our charity uh, marathon, 24 hours of RPG gaming to raise money for Alzheimer's Awareness. We raised over a thousand dollars over our goal. Wow, uh, that we is We raised great. 1,600. We, had tw we raised over 2,600. Uh, Holy amazing. Yes. shit! Uh, amazing. It was. Wow, uh, that's great. Is, is everybody recovered? Sort of. Sort of. Mm -hmm. I sure am. And yes. the shaving of his mustache probably I, helped push I, it over. I, I listen, I've hated myself all week. Yes. <laughs> I've been like, That's what I've had so, to recover from was the loss of your right, mustache. Right, so time out. So for those of you who were not able to make it to Midnight PST uh, on Saturday, <gasps> uh, in order to help us reach our goal, Sean volunteered to raffle off the uh, event of shaving off his mustache which anyone who tuned in last time remembers a glorious, glorious thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he shaved it live on camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're all still got the little bit of the willies, yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. However, it did help us push us over our goal. You can still donate if you are so inclined. You can go to act.alz.org slash go to slash saving throw show and kick in some money to raise funds for Alzheimer's awareness. Uh, I believe that ends Friday, but um, uh, you know it's open right now if you want to go and make a donation. All right, so uh, with that in mind, uh, we're going to do a little one-shot tonight, which I call God Smite! Battle for the Bridge of Iron Souls! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and lo, when the Tarask died, the heroes found the soul of the world was imbued within it and they looked upon their bloody swords, <gasps> and they wept. <laughs> Welcome to God Smite, where the powerful have been slain and the weak work to make their escape from this dying world. You, collectively, are the five blades of Vidar Einbalder, the god of the harvest. You are his chosen and oath sworn to do Vidar's divine bidding before the gray snows of oblivion blanket the land. Doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, no, it sounds epic is what it sounds like. That's yeah. 
what we're going for. Um, so this is basically straight up D&D 5e with, of course, some important tweaks. Why? Because I'm a bastard. Let's, re uh, <laughs> let's review what those tweaks are. Uh, house rules, number one, anytime you roll a 20, no matter what, something cool happens. Yes! Yay! Why? Because that's the way it's supposed to work. Thank you. Uh, you will draw from something that I call the deck of the dawn trumpet. Uh, you do not have to apply whatever effect you draw immediately, but once you do, it is spent and gone. So uh, a variety of random effects can happen there when you roll a 20. So I roll so many twents. Warm it up. Similarly, <laughs> up. Actually, anytime, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Anytime Guys, we're calling 20s twents. 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 Roll them twents. Roll them twents. Woo! Drop a twent on that Drop ass. Twent. Make up burn. <laughs> I'm a little disturbed. Uh, similarly, anytime you roll a one, something bad happens. Oh, shit. Why? Ooh. Because I'm the dungeon bastard. Yes. Uh, you will draw from this other deck. Hmm. It's weird how they're similar. Uh, oh. Called the deck of splintered bones. It is as unpleasant as it sounds. My advice. Don't roll a one. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, yes. And then finally, you all have a special stat called shame points. Oh, no. see that. Everyone starts with zero shame points. That's a good thing. Basically, anytime you do something I consider cowardly, pathetic, <laughs> or just plain weak sauce, us out. I will issue a shame oh, point. Boy. I love it. You will add one to your shame points and then must immediately roll your current total or higher on a d20. If you fail this roll, you are shamed out of the game. Oh, Get up, shit. go away, you suck, and I hate you. I don't oh, want you no. at my table. I'm looking at you, Sean Graham. Oh, you do God. not have to worry about me doing anything weak sauce. I will get myself killed before You're I- You're always committed. Always. Yeah, I will get myself killed before I lose to shame points. Uh, so for those of you viewing at home, there are a variety of, of ways to influence the game by contributing to our tip jar. Those are delineated down here, I'm hoping. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you've got strange ideas of what's going on behind the screen. Um, I got a very elaborate tattoo true. earlier today. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Also, uh, you can, uh, chat players, you can buy uh, tokens that allow the players to draw from either one of the decks. So uh, you can give them a little boost by giving yeah. them a token that would allow them to draw from the deck of the Dawn Trumpet when they so choose. Or you can give me a token to draw from the deck of Splintered Bones. Those are $5 a piece for those tokens. Uh, Rerolls and all that sort of stuff applies as normal as we have uh, described in the uh, chat in the video description. Um, I might let you buy some shame points down off of people who are doing oh. particularly badly during the game. I might not. I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there you go. That is uh, that is where we are at with our chat interaction. That is where we are at with our house rules. Do any of you have questions about uh, what's happening? Uh, what your character is like. Um, maybe we want to go around the table quickly and describe uh, who, what, the name of your character and what you are playing, what class they are, class and race. Okay. Wait, if I say Virva, she's gonna Virva. laugh. Okay. So I'm just gonna like okay. gaze okay. expectantly <laughs> at Virva. Nobody make eye contact. Don't, don't say, <laughs> it's like when you, you say her true, when you say her true name, just little <laughs> bubbles of her soul effervesce <laughs> into the ether. <laughs> Okay. Luckily, we're going to come back you. around and start on the right hand side of the table. Um, my name is Asta. I can't tell if you're crying or laughing. It's a, li the it's same. a little, yeah, it's a little bit. Same. By the end of the night, we might get one of each. <laughs> my name is Asta. I am a human monk. I, uh, I am known as the Blade of Many Fingers. Oh. Yeah, for all the right <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Shame point for being oh. gross. <laughs> <laughs> you have to roll a one or higher on D20 now. Oh, I do now. it now? Yeah. OK. What OK. Oh, five. Ooh. All right, you're still in the game. Oh, oh, that was real quick. That was real fast. That was real quick. You're like, OK, Chris. All right, I'll, I'll, just, just, down, uh, I'll, just, I'll just go take a nap on the couch. Yeah, I'm, I'm setting the bar high for this one. <laughs> All right. 
Tracy. All right. Hello. My name is Vigland Blade of Oak, and I am a mountain dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ranger. <laughs> Keep that up all night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to hear, uh, hear this. <laughs> Keep going. Hi! <laughs> and I'm a dwarf, and this is how dwarves talk. And I'm a man! <laughs> I'm a bearded man. <laughs> Fifth level ranger. That's Fifth right. Level That's ranger. right. Uh, I should be making little cards for these as we're going through. Yes. Uh, yes, Sean. Okay, I am playing Goodbrand, Blade of Light, uh, a human eldritch fighter level five. My background is sage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My background is rosemary. Accent? Oh, my accent? <laughs> I don't do accents, so Whoa. Um, I'm just going to uh, I'm just gonna talk like a person does. <laughs> it sounds so much like all your other characters. Right, yeah. Every single character that never has an accent. <laughs> Alright, uh, right, Ben. I am Ozur, Blade of Thunder, Barbarian Half Orc level five. I am now Thunder. And I'm playing Vethorn, Blade of Mercy. I'm a Paladin Five, half elf, and I'm a noble background. Good job, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Nailing it. Nailing. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just doing some boring bookkeeping here. I'm gonna start doing that as crowd work. Um, <laughs> just yeah. saying, just saying people's names in the audience, like, what's your name? And then just say it back to them to get laughs. I like your idea that he's just going to do bookkeeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said crowd work. guys. I assumed you were covering for me. No? Yes. N not the case? Is everything great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ozor. Yes, Ben, Ozor. Ozor. Uh-huh. Uh, Vigland. So who else was upset at the raccoon that they weren't able to corral in the back of their car on the way over here? I was, I, I'm very upset. Yeah, it's like, hey, raccoon, you're on blast. <laughs> wow. uh, would you care to explain yeah. the inside joke that you just dropped, or do you want nope. a shame point? Uh, oh, I have oh. to explain it. All right, fine, I'll explain it, I'll explain it. I really, it's no fair dropping p jokes that started before no, the, here's the that thing. went around on an email. These, these people in the chat need to understand that I am going to disrespect them <laughs> as often as I can. <laughs> yeah, so that means There's said, a world outside the game, everybody. <laughs> so for $5, you, you can buy Sean a token that'll be the from the deck of shards. The uh, bony shards. Bone. Splintered bones. Yeah, yes. that thing. Um, about to say shark objects. <laughs> shark <laughs> objects. The deck <laughs> of shark <laughs> objects. So basically, like, to the people in chat, Chris scissors. wanted me to bring a dead raccoon, and I said, well, I will no, try. Well, no, Sean offered to bring a dead raccoon if we wanted one. Why are we and all I said, saying raccoon? You should yeah, always consider raccoon. me. That's how you pronounce raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Raccoon. 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 Like rocket raccoon. Great. Chat. We need a poll going on. How do you it pronounce sounds, it? Raccoon. Sounds really Canadian. Raccoon. It sounds really Canadian. Raccoon. To say it that way. Raccoon. Why are you saying Raccoon. it that way? Why? Are you <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both why am I the saying? Same place. Why? Yeah. No. I mean, you can just decide to say words differently than how they're pronounced. Okay, I don't think that's how that works. No, actually. that's pretty sure. And also, no one's allowed to question you on it either. Mm, you can no. just say words differently. That <laughs> sounds like me. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, across the smoking plains of Carthus through the razor jungles of Yardak and up the steep slopes of the Yellow Tusk Mountains, you have traveled, pursued by the Lich Drider, Zaros Glassweaver, what? and his band of foul minions. Two weeks ago, your god instructed you to enter the fallen city of Marlethiad, the citadel at the heart of Wormtail Peak, and summon the great dragon Norix the Dark Death from his slumber. Accompanied by Rangvald, last wizard of the Oaken Crown, you fought your way into the city and penetrated the Cathedral of Perpetual Strain. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, it hurts so bad, and I'm just reading about it. <laughs> you now pause to catch your breath as Rangvald scribes the magic circle for his great ritual of dragon summoning. A worried look crosses his face. The ritual will take six hours, he says, but Zeros. We'll be here in five. With a gnarled hand, he gestures to the ruins of the city, his gaze resting on the great bridge of iron souls, which provides the one way in and out. You are the blades. 
You are the chosen of Vidar the Harvester. Zeros scuttles ever closer. You must find a way to slow him down. So, mm. welcome to the free city of Marlethiad. Uh, let's put one out for our folks at home in the dice box and uh, one for each side of the table. Mm. <clears throat> So, as I said, uh, the city is ruined. Um, you did uh, fight some token resistance on your way in, um, but it was more the journey down to the center of the mountain that was the tricky part. Um, and then there are, there are a variety of locations. So, uh, there's, there's a, the Bridge of Iron Souls, obviously, is this very, at the very bottom. It goes out. It's... Uh, roughly 80 to 120 <laughs> feet long. It spans a great chasm at the bottom. Is it? I will hand out shame points for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, uh, it, at the bottom of the chasm is a river called the Copper River, which is on fire currently. Oh, nice. So for those of you who have forgotten what I read at the top of the right. evening, uh, this is a right. world in the midst of an apocalypse whereby someone slew the Tarrasque that lived here uh, and the Tarrasque actually held the soul of the world. So by killing the Tarrasque, they have in effect killed the world. Oh, sure. And so anyone who has a, a strong connection to the soul of the world, i.e. people with more experience, have been slain. Oh. Um, and it's gradually like working its way lower and lower. Low. So that is one of the reasons that you are the chosen of uh, Vigar is because uh, of Vidar is that uh, you're at fifth level. You're some of the most powerful people on the planet right now, yes. uh, and your job is to do his bidding. Um, and he has returned and promised to get you off of the plane. Ah, so you are uh, quick hustling and doing missions uh, for him uh, before the uh, snows of oblivion come and suck the life out of you as well. Right. So that's the basic premise here. Uh, you're in a, a, a ruined city, and you found, handily enough, you found an old pamphlet that has a few highlights of places, uh, the, uh, of locations within the city, uh, scribed uh, alongside a crude map of the place. Uh, so, you're all thinking what I'm thinking, right? What? We blew up the bridge. <laughs> yeah. It's on fire. Um, Wait, wait. Explosive. I'm sorry. Back, what? back up, what? back up a bit. Yeah. Bug. Bug. Why, why are we blowing up the bridge? Because we need to defend the city. What's the easiest way to defend a city with only one entrance? You blow up the entrance. But what if we need to get past it? We're summoning what? a goddamn dragon. That's a stupid idea. So, I, I quick point I, I of have order. To say, I, I do think there's a point to be made there. I mean, nothing's gonna cross, or most things aren't gonna cross a river of fire, probably. Yeah, but if something flies at us, we screwed. <laughs> Uh, point of order, <laughs> uh, you yeah, do happen really to know there. during your travels, as you were discussing your mission, uh, that uh, Norix, the Dark Death, is a shadow dragon. He is incorporeal. See, that's why you don't blow that shit up. Stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> 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 I have no idea what to do. Uh, God. Um, Goddamn half -way. You're a meat shield. You stand there and that's it. Uh, technically, you're all meat shields. You're Shit, all fighters. we're all meat yeah. shields. We just all stand here. Yep. Hold um, hands. <laughs> he said we needed to slow, needed to go slow someone down. Blow up a bridge. So, yeah. over the past <laughs> few weeks, you have been pursued by a lich drider. Zeros yes. glass strider. Glass weaver. Very good, weaver. though. That was close. Uh, I'm giving you inspiration. Yay. Weaver. For actually Yay. remembering the NPC's name. Oh, a glass weaver glass. who is a drider. I just got a glass. You're a sage. Yeah. Wait, how's my read? Yeah. 18. There you go. Thank you. Nice. You're welcome. No work start uh, death, incorporeal. I will always reward so, paying attention. Oh, no, that's good. All right. So, yes, you've been pursued by uh, uh, Zero, uh, Zeros uh, Glass Weaver, and he has uh, an, a cadre of minions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, notably, undead goblins, which appear to be under his control. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, and he's he's apparently chasing you down, trying to stop you. Now, 
most of the people who are still remaining active, like what you'd consider adventurer types, are working for one of the gods. Right. right? So uh, you're not sure who he's working for, but uh, he is he is clearly trying to hunt you down. Do we do we know where he is right now, or are we just, just like he's, basically he's expecting been, him to show up? He's been there. pursuing you, and you've been able to outpace him. Right. Um, however, according uh, to uh, Rangwald, uh, he's about five hours away. So he's right, probably yeah. there's only it looks like <clears throat> unless he comes in the waterfall, there's only one way in or out of the city. Right. Gotcha. Um, That's the so bridge. So basically, we can just wait at this bridge for him to get here and or or no stupid idea but what what if okay so there's um okay there's there are options here so we may not want to we may not be able to blow up the bridge right away right away but what if it, we it get does them look all like a the fairly and then so so um as like I said, you fought your way in here. It's a fairly sturdy dwarven construction. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's a very sizable bridge. It is mm-hmm. not like they knew when they were building the one bridge in and out that it wasn't. Now it's fallen into decay, mm-hmm. to some degree. So I'm not going to say that it's in perfect condition, but it's going to take sizable effort for you to figure when, out a way well, to. I'm just saying, I'm looking at got, this pamphlet. I see that there's a distillery and alchemy shop and stuff with them. Do you, you mean like a dozen or so, or like an army? Uh, you're guessing somewhere on the order of like. 30 to 40. Oh my god. Okay. Which in this world at this point is pretty close to being yeah, an army. Yeah, right. Um, while you're thinking about what you'd like to do next, I would just like to point out that BSB Care 1 has given a draw from the deck of Splintered Bone to Sean. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ha! Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> and to Virva. Oh. 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 That's too Why? bad. Because okay. she's too so joyous. Go ahead and. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna suck the you know out what, of you. You know what, BSB? If you think that's gonna intimidate me or Virva, it's not. That's okay. Ale. You could you could do Ale. that. You could do that to Cheers. me and Virva all night, and we don't care. Ah, the King of Spades. Very good. I noted. <laughs> okay. The ten eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. Eight of oh, the eight of clubs. Yep. All right. Let's see if anything happens immediately. <laughs> it could be exciting. Immediately. <laughs> it will definitely, the king oh, of, definitely be exciting. Yeah. King of Spades is not. It that's, won't be boring. King of Spades is probably not good. Well, not something fun you want to draw. Uh huh. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. We'll just do that right now. Oh, no. um, oh, God. Everybody. Everybody except Every- you needs to make a DC 16 <laughs> dexterity save, what? please. Yes. What? Wait, where's my, oh. Got it. 16, huh? DC 16 dexterity Let's save. make this one with advantage. That did not Ooh, matter. Oh, no. 16. Nice. 17. <laughs> Se- wait, everybody made it? Not. Yep. Oh, one guy. Yeah, I rolled a two and a three. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh. Virva, your uh, skin suddenly turns to glass. <gasps> cool! <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Which then shatters and then oh. blows shards in a 30-foot radius. Oh. So okay. then am I just like like piece of the hut where I'm just a mass of like, like And then you glass. don't, but you don't, you don't <laughs> eat yourself that. to death though. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, when it shatters, herself. then yeah. you're, you can see like you still have like vestiges of your normal skin, but there's little pizza, pieces of glass sticking oh, cool. out like, of it. Like this hot girl from Return of the Living Dead 3. Oh, I I rolled a lot of damage. I, I, uh, I know who you're talking about. 31 points oh, if you oh fail. Uh, guess what, BSB? I'm not dead. <laughs> Try again. We haven't, Try we haven't failed. 15 to everyone else. What? Oh, owie. Wait, yeah, still take half damage. 15 to everyone else? 15 to everyone else. Uh, where are we at here? So that's cool. I just want to check, uh, check oh, that off. Um, Neat. All right, and then I'm Thank going to saving us, Chris. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to save my eight of clubs for later. Really? There's, <laughs> that that is not able to take effect That's at like this so point. Gym bug. So <laughs> <laughs> you. That's basically how we acted. That's basically we <laughs> that was basically the reaction that the gym yeah. bug got. All right. Yeah. Uh, there we go. What? Uh, Why are you throwing a ball at me? What would you like to do? <laughs> 
don't die. Um, heal? Yeah, right? Let's like, see. Oh, oh yeah. I would also like to touch heal. Uh, I can touch everybody and heal. Yeah, them. same. Yeah, I have lay, lay on hands. hands. Oh, yes. me too. All right. I would love, I would love to have hands laid on me. <laughs> okay. Me too. Let's heal everybody. You, you can only heal up to 25 hit points. Yeah, but like worth it, of. It, it, it still I, you know what? I think we should let me run through some of my hit die first and see, because I don't want to waste your yeah. healing. Yeah, yeah, can maybe, we, can, yeah, maybe take a short rest. We've got five we'll, hours we'll, until. Yes, we'll, if you take a short rest, that'll that'll burn an hour. So we'll have oh. four yeah. hours after a short uh-huh. rest. I'll look for things to blow up. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna heal a couple of hit dice worth of I'll, hit I'll points. Oh, that's not so good. Two plus con mod, so four. Uh, ooh, there we go. Plus twelve, sixteen. Yeah, Are you feeling yourselves? Yeah, I got it all back. Now. Let's see. What do I have? Oh, six. I can't. Can I, I don't think. Nope. I, can I don't have it all, but whatever. You can, you you can, can roll hit dice, dice during during oh. this during yeah, this Yeah. So you can roll so. Uh, up to five d twelve a day, and then for each one you roll, add your Constitution modifier. Can you hear me so, so a d ten and then adding a Constitution modifier. Do you need any? Um, yep. So you're oh, down okay. to fifteen, right? What's that? Do you need any healing? So I guess I'm just gonna roll like everyone 15? else. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Oh, you're good. Fully yeah. healed. Right. I can't even. Man, I'm jealous of barbarians hit die. Five? And then you said so plus? Add your plus your modifier. Oh, so plus so one. six. Okay, so at least that gets me up. But you can, you can do another one if you want. You, you, you actually. You can do up to five. Yeah, all right. Because you have five, you have a total of five d10. <coughs> okay. Right? So you um, could spend a second one if you want. Yeah, okay. You do that second one. Oh, it's not really better, so three. Well, it is better. What am I saying? It is better. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. Cool. Okay, so an hour goes by. Uh, at the end of that hour, Sean, you get another draw from the deck of Splintered Bone. <laughs> mm, Tiger would like to punish you for not bringing a ra- raccoon to today's <laughs> session. Okay, I want to point out that this is... Well deserved. It was, I I messed up bad. <laughs> I made it All very right. clear. Tyler, did I... you buy it? Huh? Oh, yeah. oh, Eight Tiger. of spades. Oh, the eight of spades. Eight of spades. All right. <laughs> uh, very good. Is that uh, a right now thing? Yeah, sure. Just for further notice, you're at disadvantage on all deck saves. Okay. <laughs> Until further notice. Until further notice, it's true. Oh, man. Right. Uh, also, uh, speaking of uh, draws, Tracy, you get a draw from the deck of the Dawn Trumpet oh, for nice. being such a trooper and playing every single hour of the 24-hour oh, marathon. Yes. Yeah, 24, yes. Yeah, 24, 24 hours. 24 hours. Was that what was that like? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. No, every moment was riveting. The games were great. Not a single one went off badly. And ooh. Yeah, she was actually. Uh, All right, so the Jack of Diamonds. Perfect. Uh, you gain plus two to your armor class permanently. Yay. Permanently. Oh, yes. permanently. That is awesome. Wow. Hey, people in chat, who give did, me who a did bonus. That? Who did that favor for me? Who did that? They don't, Can I not know? They don't know anyone. Huh? Okay. Who, who did that I for me? Oh, that, that was, was also Tiger, I believe. Yes. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, Tiger for wow. you. Also Tiger. Thank you. Ding a ding a ding. All right. So, with your four remaining hours, what would you like to do? Um, can we, if we can't blow up the bridge, no. Can we get some ale? Set up some traps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, from bad. the metalworks or the smithy. Maybe some little. Like rake things, uh, they walk mm-hmm. on the rake and it hits them in the head. Yes. Well, yeah, we should. I think we should like try to make like the bridge make it get down to as like make it as much of a choke point as possible. You know, like get I it, like this get idea. it get it down to like almost single file so that they're having to just like come through the gateway single file and we'll just take them out like and, that. And listen, guys, we do have a distillery in town. That means flammable alcohol. That means we should try to set these things on fire as they come through. I like it. Um, okay. Flaming zombies. Yay. I bet it tastes yeah, good. Montage. Definitely don't need zombies. a montage. Do you have any more ale? <laughs> Barbarian. Well, keep in mind, this is a this is a high level overview of what you believe is in town. You haven't actually visited any right. of these locations yeah, we need to other go than the place. cathedral. So let's, okay. let's, uh, let's, just, let's uh, check out the metalworks. Yeah, let's, let's go to the metalworks first, see what kind of scrap might be there. All right, so uh, you journey your way deeper into the heart of the uh, 
chasm here. Um, the buildings are in fairly severe disrepair, but you walk through the crowded, uh, you know, the narrow crowded streets. Uh, not crowded with people, just crowded with buildings uh, and debris as people have clearly like evacuated at some point. Um, yeah, you're not entirely uh, certain what sort of catastrophe happened here. It does not appear to have been particularly recent, but the place has not been like overcome with undead or anything like that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you're guessing that whatever went bad here probably went bad within the past five to ten years. Gotcha. Um, so you are going to the Smithy, is that correct? The right. metal, our metal works. Uh, the metal, metal works? works. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Great. So uh, furthest back. It's yeah, not it's quite the, the not quite the furthest back, but it's close. Yeah. So you approach a large building um, that is carved into the uh, face of the stonework. Um, there is a dilapidated set of uh, what looks like kind of uh, uh, wagon tracks, or you know, like so, like uh, metal metal rails that you would use for mine carts, right? And so there's there's a there's a, a, a railway of mine of minecart tracks that come into this thing and then split into like three different entrances and all go into the metalworks. Okay. Um, the place inside is very dark, uh, uh, very high ceiling and foreboding. Uh, there's a huge uh, cold smelter bucket. Uh, there's a large kind of like. Uh, like stacked up furnace area where they clearly like direct the heat in order to smelt the smelt the ore to the proper temperature. Um, there's a variety of of um, mine carts kind of arrayed around here in various states of good shape, bad shape. Um, there is also probably two or three tons worth of iron ore so uh, that's slag. raw, unprocessed. Yeah, there's definitely like bits of slag. Yeah, yeah. Um, tailings. Could that that smelter bucket be used as a sort of like thing to dump over mm. oh. over the using this, uh, this precipice here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like over like a murder hole or something? Or, or is it like that's probably too huge it's, to it's move? It's enormous, right? Yeah, it's so gigantic. it's about it's about 15 feet in diameter yeah, okay. and probably weighs two or three tons because the walls yeah. are a good, you know, two and a half feet thick. Well, are what there if we, if we mine carts are there skates? Are there buckets that are, are, you know, things like that that might be more <clears throat> portable, or do we, or do we want to pursue well, that? Well, I mean, I w we could, I mean, what we could leave it as, like, leave it here, and maybe, at like, upon like a fighting retreat, like keep, you know, backing mm. up or whatever, and then when we get back to like this fallback point, then we can dump like you know, hot molten metal or whatever. Yeah, like set, set, set of various though. like. Yeah, we'd have to light everywhere. the furnace, but the thing is. It, it would also give time for it to, to heat up because it's not going to heat up in four hours. No. Um, so um, maybe by the time. So so one thing to keep in mind is that the Cathedral of uh, Perpetual Strain is building number six. Right there. Uh, so they never go that. Oh, far. they'll never. Yeah, because we have to keep far. them from getting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to keep them from getting to here. Yeah. Um, is there any? Is there anybody? Is there? Is is the metalworks totally abandoned? There's no one around. Yeah, the metalworks here. I mean, there's. Okay, there's, well let's let's, nothing let's in here. check out some of the other places then and see if there's um, now that we've kind of like what, now that we've kind of like yeah, taken stock of I, what's around here. Maybe the smithy or the alchemy and potions. Yeah, why don't we check out the smithy? It's right next. It's right next to it, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, Stonebelly smithy. smithy is an enormous building. Uh, it looks Ooh. like this really nope, was sort of like the so uh, epicenter of activity for the uh, for the city of Marlathiad. Oh. There. Um, uh, and you you walk in and you can see various weapons uh, in 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 uh, different states of um, construction, right? So there are actually like some finished swords. Um, there's some spears, that sort of thing. There's also just like a, a big bucket marked spearheads, and they've clearly like done the basic hammering, mm -hmm. but they didn't finish them off. Um, you find also a variety of things that support the rest of the uh, the town's uh, industry. So you find uh, railway spikes um, for the minecarts. Oh. Um, you That's find uh, like pick pickaxe handles as well as like regular pick pickaxe heads. 
Um, is that a gunpowder? We yeah. could use those. Oh, metal like, spikes might not be a bad we idea. Could use at the smithy, actually, there's like, no gunpowder at the smithy. Well, what I'm thinking is we can use like the spearheads and spikes as essentially like caltrops, you know, and just like spread them over. That's on, like oh, at the entrance yeah, of the Yeah, exactly. To yeah. make to like slow everything so, up. No, absolutely. There. And I think that will because it's like we're expecting thirty. I, I, I mean, thirty or forty, yeah. Yeah, so we're severely outnumbered. Yeah, so if they, were, I imagine they'd be like, yeah, exactly. And stuff you like know, that. so that'll so. slow things up. Would we be able to like put some tips on our <coughs> like weapons, like kind of like reinforce them or something? Oh, I have a question. Uh, I um, want. You said it's been well, full no, of spearheads. <laughs> it's been like five or ten years that these weapons have been sitting here. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, so they're um, in good condition. Well, here, like, are I'm looking. Are there any that? don't appear to be pitted or, um, I mean, because at five or 10 years of a weapon just sitting there not having been cleaned, right. it should be starting to get pitted, starting to get a little rusty. Which is why If I'm there's any that aren't, cultures, then that means you know. it's either made of a very n good material or it could be magical. Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, well, give me an intelligence investigation check. All right. Fingers crossed that. Uh, nine. Bad. Can we all do it? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Ah, oh, so close. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> oh. Come on, Ben. Uh, 13. <coughs> 13 was the highest. 13 was the highest? Yeah. Wow. That works. Wait, didn't you, you didn't roll the 14. Yeah. <laughs> but I have minus yeah, one. Yeah, the minus, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, although you appear to search very diligently, you do not find any weapons <laughs> that are, like, remarkably no clean fine, fine. or uh, surprisingly uh, shiny or maybe glow in the presence of orcs. Yeah. But um, will, however, <laughs> you do in fact find uh, 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 a, there's a room in the back that that um, that was closed off um, that you kind of like bust your way into like what's this all about? And there's 500 feet of chain hanging there in various lengths. Nice. I just recently bought chain in, <laughs> in real life. In real because life. you're oh. trying to trap a raccoon. <laughs> Um, I will have you know. Too soon. <laughs> I, I, I will. I will have you know that it are, uh, raccoons are in various are like very long small. length, yeah, like are. or like various like shorter, like how or just all sorts of chain. I in mean, the, like like, the, like like two to three feet lengths, or like you know, like huge coils of fifty foot. Chain. Well, so there are a few huge coils okay. of fifty foot chain. There's also a bunch of them in smaller like. 20, 10, 8, gotcha. 4 foot lengths. Trip wires? <coughs> That's what I'm thinking. Well, at least, sure. like, to put them around yeah. the cathedral of strain to prevent anyone from getting in as a last resort. Um, Does are, anybody is, are cannons a thing in this world? Do cannons exist? Gun the ballistas? Uh, you have heard of them. If we, oh man, this chain is actually a brutal but amazing thing to load into cannons. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Can any of us make that? Mm -hmm. You're a dwarf. Can I make that? If can we can, can you make a cannon? a cannon? Like something of that. Craft nature. a cannon. Craft Probably not something. three and a half hours. Yeah. No. Um, the, the real trick okay. here is going to be finding something to propel it because uh, although you that have too. heard of something called gunpowder, um, you doubt that unless it's very carefully like sealed that whatever's here. here is is any good. Right. Um, it's going to take some some work to to uh, come up with with some sort of explosive or propellant. Okay. Um, well, I'm speaking like of explosions now. and propulsion, <laughs> awesome. Um, Tracy, space colonizer, would like to give you two re rolls. Hey. Yay! All right. Yes. Thank you, space Thanks, colonizer. Space colonizer. <laughs> I know I say this every time, but we need to colonize Thank and you. militarize space. <laughs> um, he also gives Take a pull from the good deck to Chris, hey. Virva, and Sean. Yes, yes. Oh, shit. Oh. Space colonizer. Space colonizer. Thank you, space colonizer. Space colonizer, yeah. space colonizer if you ever go to space, I take feel, me with you. I, I'm really scared if there's a. Hopefully there's nothing for me, because I feel like there's going to be something horrible. I, I just want to point good. out, I just want to point out that, that me and Space Colonizer are buds, I appreciate it, and he understands the fun banter of me calling him a garbage person. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a little thing we do as friends. A little thing. Yeah. You want to draw first? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, sure, or do you want Chris to draw first? I don't, I don't, I don't know. You. Why do I ask you? Draw first. It doesn't matter. Draw Women first. first. <laughs> Women first. Not ladies. Ladies. <laughs> no 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 ladies. No ladies. No ladies. No ladies. No ladies. No ladies. No 
The six and, of and no hearts. And space colonizer, I'm not sure that he is super into militarizing space, but I just throw it in there as an aside. All right, when you activate this card, you can add 1d6 to one attack roll an ally makes. Nice. An ally makes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't take that one. I want that one. <laughs> oh! That one. Oh, the king Whoa. of diamonds. Oh, oh, sure. uh, you were referred to at the start of the game as a king. That's right. He did say that. When you activate this card, one ally within 30 feet is healed 66 hit points. Whoa! Wow. Whoa! All right. That's a good one. That is nice. a good one. <laughs> All right. I do not believe in superstition. It does not matter which one I pick. Um, two of hearts, everyone. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. <laughs> uh, when you activate this card, you gain yeah, an extra well. attack. So Ooh. if you want to hang on to your card so that you know when yeah, you spend and, it. And that way I can just throw it down on the table. You want to hang on to yours? Yeah, and then Thank throw you. it on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Mm. <laughs> so you've you've found you. quite a bit of chain. That's yeah, sort of been you. your big, big score. Um, cheers. At the... Uh, Wait, at the, no, at the cheers. Smithy, but you've also... Um, Found various spikes, um, you know, lengths of railway. Um, what I'm of rail. At least what I'm thinking right now is like we use the the spikes, the spikes and spearheads to like kind of caltrip up here, and then maybe mm -hmm. use the chain to just sort of like do the same. Where we just kind of like string yeah. it across. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah. Do like you do when you were a kid, and you like strung all stuff. Yeah. Across like your make an obstacle course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're making an obstacle course essentially. Yeah. Um, make it Spartan. Can we like melt some of this metal down too? So if they trip on it, it like pours down on and melts their face. Well, we need like, to. We, we need to start the furnace. Yeah. yeah let's, need. Okay, so let's do that. Well, yeah, we should start. The but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, in part, well, and getting then the that metal. burning metal to. Does anybody have where like some might. kind of potion that would speed something? A potion. Up? There's a potion. Or, or, or I mean, a <laughs> magical a potion spell. Of melt, a potion Whatever. Of melt I'm. I'm thinking of. Like fable, okay. So why don't we check out the alchemy and potions, blue frog alchemy and yeah. potions? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good idea. Th I like that. Thank you. She knows. Wonderful. Let's check idea. out the alchemy and potions, uh, blue the blue frog. Blue, talking blue frog. a deeper voice. Blue frog. Talking a deeper voice. That sounds like a bar. I like. It. <laughs> but we're, we're, we'll I grab, you know, make get a big sack yeah. of uh, spearheads and we'll, spikes. First, we'll grab the the spikes and like or maybe we chains. should maybe we should like multitask, divide and conquer. So sure. Someone starts laying down I'll, the spikes. I'll start doing that. Okay. I'll go with right. it. Cheers. Make split a, the party. That sounds no, good. No, no, never mind, never mind. Yeah. I'd like to go to the livery shop to see how many dead horses there are. All right, so so far you've just spent just roughly 20 minutes kind of like searching around the uh, searching around the ironworks and the smithy. So what are you doing next? I definitely want to check out the potion shop just to be sure, oh, yeah. just to do my due diligence. Big see what's priority. Because mm -hmm. we never know what we're up against. I should also go to the, uh, maybe while you're doing that, I go to this, the distillery. Okay. I'll take the dwarf to the distillery. I will go with you. I will go with you. Really? Because I like oh, this then plan. I'll go to the distillery. All right. All right. I'm surprised so we are well then, party. yeah, we yes. absolutely are. So we we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, Not who's that. going where? I'm going to the potion shop. The potion shop. Potion shop. Potion shop. You two are going to the distillery. The, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. I'll. Where are you going? Which group of fools are you going to go to? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the. Um, what's you? What's the closest up front? What's further back? I don't want to go too far back again. You should definitely check out the Vault of Unkind Slumber. Yeah, yeah right. check that out. Should be safe. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so... Um, I'll go to the distillery. Here is the... All right. For the viewers at home, here is the alchemy shop. And the distillery is right nearby. Oh, great. Right there, yeah, exactly. on the opposite no, yeah, that, side that, of the that's, city. That's sure, I mean. that works out perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This All is right. going to go really well. Great, so the, just to be clear, the three of you are going to the distillery. Yeah. yeah. And the two of you are off to uh, the, the blue the frog shop. Okay, yeah. fine. So uh, we'll handle you guys first. Yeah, uh, you go to the distillery. Uh, there is uh, clearly a couple of stills here. Um, one of them has been raided for uh, you know. Like, it looks like they tried to kind of like take whatever they could before they left. The other one looks like you might be able to cobble something together to make it work again. Nice. Okay, um, you. Can easily put your hands on um, about eight large casks, empty wooden casks. Don't have anything in them. Mm. Um, 
you do find two smaller casks that look like they have fairly sh hot, you know, strong alcohol inside. Nice. Like you'd guess flammable. Probably. Somewhere around. I take a pole. You know. Little little bombs. Uh, you just said I okay. Uh, give me a, a Constitution pole. save. Oh shit! I don't make that with advantage. Oh, nice. what are you getting disadvantage on again? Um, dexterity. Dexterity saves. Okay, um, that's great. Yeah. So actually, an eighteen on my con save though. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. Uh, it's uh, it's strong. It's potent stuff. Good. You guess, good. Like, good. 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 Hundred eighty proof. Oh, like it's almost ever clear strong. Yeah. Yeah. Holy yeah. 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 You That's take a pull of this thing and you're like, Whoop. take a shot first. I should not have swallowed that. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying, we could take some of these casts, spread it along the bridge, mm -hmm. or just have it positioned somewhere to where the yeah. Copper River Does anyone have is any totally flint? on fire. Uh, I was gonna say, are you making a yeah, cocktail yeah, Molotov? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Did you say what? cocktail Stop Molotov? Stop eating my dinner backwards. <laughs> Molotov cocktail. A cocktail Molotov. Cocktail Molotov. You know, it's a nice I'm drink. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll so, grab. I guess we'll, you know, at least start hauling those out towards the front. Yeah. Uh, stuff. And I've got some well, of the spikes and this is a chain with me, too. Should someone be on the tower, maybe, with, or put them on the tower to throw them Ooh. down? 